Here we have a very nice looking 2010 Audi A6 S Line Avant in black, starting with the offside front tyre. Take a look at your tread depth in the centre tyre there, looking at a good 3 to 4 millimetres of tread. Looking at the offside front alloy, very small scuff on the outside edge of the alloy there. Looking around the rest of the alloy again, just one or two minor little marks, no signs of any heavy curbing at all to the alloy, so good condition for the vehicle's age. Looking down the offside of the vehicle from this angle, I personally can't see any dents, there's a slight a sort of lined dink on the rear door, might be from a, a car park dink. No signs of any uh, heavy dents or damage down there. Offside front arch, uh, there's quite a few little stone chips um, around the arch itself. So a couple of stone chips around there. Uh, also some light scratches will need a bit of a polish. Uh, driver's mirror, again some light scratches there, again require polish. Same with the driver's door as well, you've got a couple of touch-ins down the door edge, again all very minor. Uh, again some little stone chips dotted around as well as some light scratches. Uh, roof uh, rails on top, rear passenger door, uh, again, just needs a bit of a polish really, just from like scratches, door edge is fine, rear arch, rear quarter, uh, this all looks good, there's a couple of paint runs I think, or as you can see, I don't know if you can catch that on the uh, the video there, so you can see you got one here, one there, one there, looks like little paint runs, um, same on the rear quarters here, it's definitely had a bit of paint as you can see, not the best job, uh, rear tyre, you're looking really about three to four mil again. And looking on the rear alloy, again taking a good look at the condition here. Looks very clean, no curbing or scuff marks. And uh, moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. Looking at your rear bumper, you've got rear parking sensors there. Near side rear quarter looks fine. Boot itself looks uh, relatively clean, just a couple of light scratches on the loading bay need a polish, but no signs. Um, of any serious damage. You've got a bit of a scuff mark here, that's going to require a little bit of paint. Take a look inside the boot. As you can see, a your parcel shelf here. Uh, nice condition inside. Underneath the tray. As you can see underneath the tray, you do have your, your spare wheel in there as well. But that's all in good order inside the boot. Near side rear tyre again, you're looking at about 3mm of tread in the centre of the tyre. Looking on the rear alloy. Again, some minor little marks, as you can see on the outside edge of the alloy there. The rest of the alloy is looking clean. So again, just a very small refurb may be required. Looking down at the near side of the vehicle. Again, no sign of any dinks or dents at all down the near side of the car. Looks fairly clean. Again, just going to require a couple of touch-ins and a good mop and polish, really, to both doors. And like I said, touch-ins to the door edge there from some car park chips. Mirror's fine, again. Front arch with some light scratches and the front tyre. Again, you're looking around 3 to 4 mil of tread. Front alloy on the near side, condition wise, looks very clean. No curbing, got any scuff marks at all to that alloy. And moving around to the front end of the vehicle, a couple of stone chips around the front, of course. I can't see any signs of any damage, so just a few touch ins will be required. You've got the LED daytime running lights there, and then some stone chips around the bonnet of the car. But that is the exterior. Take a look at the interior. As you can see inside, you've got the full black leather interior, both butt packs are there as well. Lovely condition to the leather, just needs a good valet inside. Door panels, back of the seats are all looking good as well. Driver's seat also in nice condition, and there's a slight bit of wearing there on the bolster, again, it's just age related. Uh, front passenger seat is looking fine as well. Centre console and dash is nice and clean, at the brushed uh, sort of stainless finish. Steering wheel in good condition, your automatic headlights. Uh, mod function wheel with the paddle shift. As you can see with the car, we've got two sets of keys and look at the display here whilst we start the car. As you can see, there's a service light indicating there, so there is a service light. No other symbols at all appearing on the dash. I'm looking at 77,870 miles on the clock. As you can see with your navigation there, working perfectly fine. Air conditioning, etc., comes on nice and cold. Heated seats there as well. Auto box and taking a look at your documents. Now looking at your MOT, expiry date on the car is 11 February 2017, so plenty left on the MOT. V5, we're looking at three owners on the vehicle and your service history. As you can see, quite a few Audi stamps. We've got 17,000 there, 38, 59, 67, all done at Audi, and a non franchise stamp done at 69,000 miles, but it does currently require service as we speak. That is the 2010 Audi S-Line TDI Avant and a nice looking car for the mileage.